Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today is a big day. Uh, we, my little family is waiting in the parking lot of the park near our new build and we are just waiting for who knows how long until we get the keys to our new house. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an empty house tour as well as sharing the types of things that I brought with us this first day just to make our life easier this upcoming week as we kind of start to slowly move in. So stay tuned and I'm so excited to bring you guys along. Big hat. No. Hey Aubrey, why is today a special day? I don't know. Say we're getting our house today. I'm getting my baby. So Juan went back up to the house to kind of wait for them to rekey, and once they rekey the house, then we can get the keys to the house. So I'm just here with the little kids. Um, Jack is sleeping nicely in this little portable bed thing that we have, and Aubrey's playing with sand. But I was like looking up in the sky, and I was like, "There's a bird that's flying, but it's not moving at all." And it was like the coolest thing. Obviously, it was like the perfect amount of wind for it to just be like hovering but it was like hovering there for a really long time so my beautiful cake. <laughs> let me show you her beautiful cake wow aubrey that looks lovely <laughs> so i have no idea how long we're going to be here for but i have some snacks to kind of like tide us over I was going to come earlier in the day and I'm glad that Juan was like, don't come yet. Just, just don't come yet. So, um, we were able to get like an extra nap in at the house for Jack. I'm glad that he's like happy and content right now because I don't know how I would be feeling if he was just screaming here. I think I'd be very stressed out. So as soon as Juan comes back down here or we, you know, go back up there. I will let you guys know and bring you through our house. So I just got done feeding Jack in the car. He got a little fussy and we're still waiting on the keys, but apparently Juan is still inside the house because there were workers in and out today. So we're going to head up there and see how long it's going to take to actually get our keys and I'll show you guys the house. Okay, so we just got the keys. We we're actually just driving up to go check our mailbox first before we actually go inside the house. But we got this cute little box. I have no idea what's inside and two little mugs from KB Homes. And I'm, it's been a while that we've been waiting for, you know, the keys. So I'm excited just to kind of get in there and unload some of the stuff. I have no idea what time we're gonna head home tonight. We won't be sleeping here tonight, but I'm just, I'm excited that this day has finally come. Juan just told me that our mailbox is number 13 and I am so excited because that's my favorite number. <laughs> I'm in the garage right now. We actually haven't gone into the house, but on the floor here, Juan is gonna be doing like an epoxy coating and that will be like another video. I think he's gonna get started tonight. So it'll be nice because then if anything like drips down from the cars or whatever, it'll be easily cleaned rather than like absorbed into the concrete. But here is our garage. Ready? Baby. <laughs> Come here. 
Where's Aubrey? Hmm. Hmm. So we can get the So as soon as you enter our front door, we got two bedrooms. We have this one right here. And we don't have any lights right now because we will be having a ceiling fan installed. So that's why I can't really turn on the lights, but we got our first bedroom here, which will probably be a playroom. Right next to it, we have a nice little storage or linen closet. And then we have our bathroom with double sinks. Same quartz countertops as our kitchen. And then we have our little bathtub here, which I'm sure I will give plenty of baths in. And then this will be Aubrey's bedroom. Again, we don't have any working lights in here, but she's got a nice little window to the backyard. These mirror closet doors came standard, which are nice. She loves this little hiding spot door and then we have our garage door this is what we walk into here we have a nice little coat closet and our laundry room it's a pretty good size compared to some homes that didn't have any and this coat closet I envision like having as extra pantry space we can turn it into that if need be Got our pantry right here. We got some extra kitchen tiles in that box. And then we have our kitchen, dining, and living space. I really like the gray and white kitchens. My my hope when we were designing it was to have these like in black, but they didn't have any. So we went with silver and I think that will be okay. <laughs> So here's where we will have our kitchen table. Sorry for the echo, obviously there's no furniture here. We'll have our kitchen table. I envision actually having like our glass whiteboard somewhere up here, maybe some open wood shelving or something, but I plan on hopefully homeschooling, so this could be a perfect little area for that. Then we got our door to the backyard, a nice big window. We eventually want like built-in cabinets right here and then we'll have like an L-shaped couch. Then coming this way, we have this little tiny nook where we want to make it like a coffee soda bar. And what I'm thinking is kind of like having open shelves, having this be painted like a darker color so that it pops. So that will eventually be like a little DIY. And then we come into the master, which has two windows that look out our to our backyard. Got a nice bathroom here. So I did pack like a bunch of stuff for us to bring today and some of that was like Aubrey's bath toys that she hasn't been able to use forever because the bath at my parents like wasn't working. We have some soap and shampoo in case anyone stays here it gets really dirty here. We also brought a bunch of toilet paper, paper towels, paper plates and plastic ware for if we eat here. And we also brought a little red mini fridge from Target that's meant for like the car but 
it's got to, you know, we're going to deal with that uh, here while we wait for a fridge to actually arrive. And then like I mentioned before, Juan is going to do like epoxy in the garage. So I brought some things that he needed to do that. So here's our backyard. We actually have a really nice like side backyard, which if we ever wanted to expand the house, I think this is where we would do it. And then they landscaped all of the slopes, which is nice. And we're eventually gonna have like grass or something here, maybe a little gazebo. We want a patio cover, but I'm super excited to watch our little kids grow up here. Not to mention this view is amazing and it's really cool that there's like donkeys on the hills and it's just really beautiful, especially this time of year. This is what happens when I ask Juan to put the toilet paper on. Okay, do you guys have this war with your husbands too? It doesn't go like this. This is a mullet. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Last night I got out of the house fairly quickly because the kids were exhausted, I was exhausted, and Juan wanted to do like work on the garage on like etching it or something, like getting it ready for the epoxy. So I'll insert that little footage here. He pretty much had to mix this mixture with some water and scrub it into the concrete in the garage. And so he took care of that and now we are back because I left my pump here, which was a very poor mistake on my part um, last night. So I don't know, that was a little painful for me, but we came back and we figured, hey, let's get a little bit more done. So we're bringing an old rug from Texas and we will be vacuuming that and kind of getting it in place and bringing in some other stuff just to kind of make life easier this next week. You think the carpet's beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> What 
did you just say welcome to our channel? <laughs> did you just say welcome to our channel? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do on our channel. Okay. What are we going to do for the channel? I don't know. Let's do take it to a down uh -huh. and spin. And spin. Like that? And now take it to Take it to On the round. Okay. Okay, so we got the rug in here. We got some windows covered up. We did bring a lot of my containers that like we moved into my parents' house with for the kitchen stuff. We were going to line our pantry with this clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree, but it's nap times and we want to head back home. So we're going to save that for another day, but we have, you know, a bunch more snacks now and just kind of starting to feel a little bit more comfortable here before we get a new couch, before we get our fridge. So, you know, it's definitely going to take a while for it to feel like home. I want to put up decorations. So there's still a whole lot to do and I will make sure to bring you guys along in a later video kind of showing you on move-in day or move-in weekend, kind of the progress and like how much we've gotten done. But until then, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and checking out my little empty house tour along with kind of the essentials of what to bring to get settled and you know, before we actually move in. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. Now let me take a picture of you. Thanks. Let me take a picture. I will give it way right back. It's your daddy. Mm -hmm. Aubrey can. For daddy, mommy. See? to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.